Hello guys, this is Will with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and I'm here with another repair video of how to replace a speaker driver on a JBL Link 10 speaker. And the tools we'll be using, most of them should be available for purchase on our website if you're looking for the proper tools and all of the parts for this speaker that we offer are on their website. If there's a part that you don't see listed uh, and you need it, you can just reach out to us. We probably do have it in stock along with any other parts for whatever devices we have on our website. Let's go ahead and get going with the repair. First thing we do is remove the top cover the rubber seal so just get a pry tool here with this flathead just pry it up and get a little bit of it going and the rest could be done by hand now let's remove the top uh, button board, if you'd call that. Now let's grab another pry tool. This one might need to be a little more rigid to pry up. There's some adhesive that is holding it down, so if you hear a pop, that's just the adhesive coming loose. There we go. And we have popped this adhesive free. Usually the, this cable is still attached, but this time it came up off with it. No big deal, it looks like nothing has been damaged. And Let's go ahead and remove the bottom. Or let me see if I can remove this fabric without taking off the bottom. So yeah, we probably won't need to take off the bottom. Give it a little pry. And remove that. Yeah, actually the top probably didn't need to be removed, but it's okay, not too big of a deal. Let's remove four screws for the speaker. At this point, you should be able to identify which speaker is damaged by just looking at it, if you see visual damage. If you don't see visual damage, just play some music. Maybe have this guy back on there and listen to some music and see what side is bad. Also, a common issue that might occur is a passive radiator goes bad and it may be sounds like a bad speaker, but it could be a passive radiator, one of these guys. See if there's any tears anywhere. We sell those parts as well. So let's remove the speaker. All right, the speaker is loose now and it's just gonna unclip. You see where it's connected to the board? Just give it, unclip it a little bit. Here's a gasket. You can pull this gasket out. And just work, work this connector out. Might be good to grab a tool like this. Like so. There we go, no soldering needed. The speaker has been replayed, removed. And, and the gaskets right here. When you order the speaker from us, you should receive it with the speaker, the wire, the gasket for your 
if you're looking for this part. Now let's go ahead and install all of this back together. For this demonstration, we'll use the same exact speaker, but this is just in reverse of what we just did. So there's one direction that this speaker gets plugged in. You will not get it wrong because it won't let you plug in any other way. There we go. Before you put the speaker in, be sure to grab the gasket and take a look at which way it goes. And this is the way it goes. Line it up. There we go. Let's fasten it down with the four screws. Next, install the fabric around the speaker. There we go, and the top button board. Now this is directional as well, so be sure to get it connected in the proper direction. Take note of where the pins are inside of this connector and where the connections are on the, on the flex cable. All right, another thing to take note of is there is a gasket that is attached to this top cover. Be sure it's in place and hasn't shifted. So once you got it seated, let's get all the screws in. All right, finally, the cover. There is a notch in this cover as well as a pin right there. Align it. There you have it, guys. The replacement of a speaker driver on the JBL Link 10 speaker. Once again, all of the parts for this speaker should be available on our website. You can contact us if you don't see your part that you need, as well as most of the tools we've been using today should be listed on our website as well. The link for that all should be in our description below. Thank you for watching guys and have a great day.